everyone, my name is Demi Bernice and you are watching a segment of Demi TV called Feet Alpha Tools, where I'm going to feature tools that are being used by the alphas to build their businesses from the ground up. And today we are going to discuss about Canva and not only Canva, not the usage of it, not the functions, but also the rules of graphic design that you need to apply when you are creating a social media graphic or things that you can do every single day, okay? So I would suggest that you could do your very own graphics when you are only doing it for very simple things like blog, Pinterest pins, social media posts, that's fine. But if you are going to create stuff that are being mass produced like book covers and PDFs and stuff like that, I suggest that you would really have to come to a designer, knock in their doors and actually ask for the help because they actually know the things that you need to also consider not only when it comes to design but to make sure that your social media graphic or your graphics per se is readable is doable and it follows the rules of graphic design it doesn't break anything because i know a lot of people out there especially authors just make their very own book covers and up to some extent that's fine but i also suggest to do away from copyright infringements copyright laws that you do not know yourselves and we designers know that and we have studied that for a while before we jumped into the business so yes that's it that's just my personal advice okay so if you need help out there with graphic design and these design stuff i could link my website down in the description so you could just click in and ask for help if you need to all right so let us start so let's go to canva.com and right now, 2018, Canva has changed a lot, a whole lot. I have been using Canva since 2016, but right now I'm not using it anymore because I, I tend to create my very own templates. I also create my very own graphics from scratch. And I don't use these templates here because like everybody knows that Canva isn't, is a good tool for graphic design and most people use the same templates all the time which is very tricky if you're talking about copyright and copyright infringements and you know copyright laws okay so let us go and dive in so here on canva we have here your left panel where is like mostly the settings and stuff you can add folders so you could organize your things you could also have your team share with you some stuff. So if you have a team, you can also have your team use that. And Canva 2.1 is the old version of Canva and you can use that. So if you are actually new to Canva, Canva would ask you to either shift to 1.0 or 2.0. And personally, either way, most of them are just the same. So I'm using <laughs> Canva 2.0 right now. So let's go to all designs. And obviously there's a huge button here where you can create a design. So it's very user friendly. You, you can really see the button popping on the left hand side of your screen. And that's very easy. That's very noticeable. Now, if you are a beginner and you do not know the dimensions actually of the thing or the graphic that you are going to create, you can type in here in their search bar what are the thing that you want to create. Is it either a Facebook cover, a Facebook post, or an Instagram post, etc, etc. So say for example, we are going to create an Instagram post right now. It's very easy because it's only square, okay? So that's why I chose that. You have a lot of options in here. There are templates that you can use here on Canva. And it's very easy because you only have to change the text. You only have to change the information that you want to be posted in your social media graphic, okay? So say for example, let's see. Okay, let's try this one. This one looks good. Okay, so here in our social media graphic right now, we have here two lines and we have here a text with a cursive font and we have here a text with a regular font. Now, okay, so you could drag and drop, twirl around, blah, blah, blah. Say for example, we are going to make a promotion for your very new website and your new website is your personal brand. So I would put in Demi 
Bernice and because it is not working like that of course the first thing that you need to know is to make the font little so because that is 212 maybe 42 would be fine too little 100 100 is perfect okay so there are a couple of fonts that are available in um, Canva and you can also upload a font but I think this one is for premium for people who have purchased the premium of Canva or what Canva calls Canva for work okay so there are a lot of fonts right now back then Canva only has 21 fonts and I know very well because I counted them there's only a very few ch um, options of fonts and now they have tons so you are very lucky to actually use Canva in this day, okay? So we are going to put here the, the website itself, okay? I haven't launched a website yet. Please don't go there yet <laughs> because I'm not done with it yet. Okay, so, okay, now that works. And you can also change the color of that here, clicking the text color, you can click white, okay. So I personally think that the fonts don't really go together because Demi Bernice here is a modern style font and this one is a sans serif font. So sans serif fonts are the ones without the tails. That's how it would be easy for you to remember the names of the fonts. Sans serif are the ones that doesn't have tails and serifs are the ones that have tails. So for example, this one is a sans serif because it doesn't have a tail but if you go abhaya libre semi bold that one has tails okay another sample abril fat face is also a serif font what else advent pro bold is a modern font because it's like a combination of serif and sans serif font so typographers or people who have created fonts in a very long time now has become more creative and more powerful by combining sans serif and serif fonts which in equal became the modern fonts that we have today so this one is script probably i think that one is script and there are a lot of a tons of fonts to choose from so what i'm trying to come up here is just a very basic um instagram post because i just want to promote the website and i don't need it to become very wordy okay so unless you are creating a quote instagram post like this Okay, so that is perfect. And a lot of people actually think that you need to make sure that your fonts go from the edge of the, the left side edge of the social media graphic to the right side edge of the social media graphic, which I think is not a good thing because you are not allowing the viewers to have a space to breathe in and absorb the content of what it is that's in your social media post. So if you create more space for people to read, it helps the viewer or the reader to pause for a moment and actually read the words properly. Okay, so we can also make that font smaller. I'll go with 36. So there's a lot more space on it than the last time, right? So we can move things around also in Canva and move things. So you can also move things on Canva if you see that cross, cross thing, like a cross cursor. Okay, and this one is rotation. So you can rotate things counterclockwise, clockwise rather. So it's like that. Okay, now let's go a little bit on the colors, okay? There are a lot of things that you can choose from on colors, but there will always be that pair that you wouldn't really like because they're like, like they don't really create the harmony in colors. So how would you know if the colors are perfect together? So you would have to look into the color wheel okay, so this one is a very blurred picture. I'm so sorry about that because 
I don't know what's happening with Google right now. It's not letting me view a picture. Okay, so this is how you would know if a color is actually perfect for each other. So we're going to only focus on two colors as of today. So let's see if you are going to choose the color blue, the perfect color that will match blue are the ones that are in the opposite part of the color wheel. So you have here blue. So the perfect color that goes with blue is yellow. So if you pick this shade of purple, the perfect color that would go with that purple is this hue of green. So it's like that. Also, I would like to share Adobe Colors. This is the, a very great tool when you are trying to decipher on the colors or the branding or what, what, what is it really that you want to have in your color branding, okay? If you have problems with color branding, you can comment down in the comment section. I can help you with that. I love colors so much and I have created branding colors and branding guides to other people, you can check out my website, www.graphicsmotionmedia.com if you do not know what a personal branding guide is. I'm not going to tackle on that in this video, but so colors are very easy. They have, there are things that you can choose from if you want to make sure that your colors are harmonious in a social media platform or in a graphic design. Social media graphic or in a graphic design. So we have here, you can change the color harmony to analogous, monochromatic, triad, complementary, compound, shades, or custom. So we have here all the colors that we can possibly have and that the ones that are being circled here or are present in the circle are called analogous. That means that they are harmonious because they are very near to each other. Okay, the colors are almost similar and only differ in a little bit of white or black or more orange or green, you know, stuff like that. So monochromatic are colors that are of the same shade. Okay, like this one, these five colors here, they are of the same shade. That's why you can only see two of these that are circled, but there actually are five of them. Okay, and the next one is triad. Triad is a type of color harmony wherein it creates a huge triangle equally, triangle. So the, it's a very equal, equal triangle inside the color wheel. So we have here yellow, blue, and a couple of shades of red. So that is triad. Next is complementary, the ones that I told you about earlier. You could choose a color that matches that color when it is across the color wheel. So say for example, there's green here and the color that's across green is red, okay? Next one is compound. This is almost the same as triad, but the thing here is they are perfectly in letter V. So regardless if it's two, three, four, or five, but if they are creating a 45 degree angle in the color wheel, that's what compound is. Shades is almost the same as monochromatic. They are of the same shade. And the last one is custom. So you could just ramble on on that. So that's what color Adobe Color CC is all about. So it is a very magical, I consider this magical, I love color so much, magical creation of Adobe where you can really rely on if you, are, if you want to make sure that your colors are very harmonious. Now let's talk about fonts for quite a bit. To make sure that your fonts are equally paired or to make sure that these fonts look good together, you can search font pairs. Okay, you can look at the images and they will tell you exactly the fonts that would look together so well. This one is font pairings here. So you could literally see that the first one we have your happy holidays and under that there's Oswald and Laura. Okay, so that is actually the name of the font. Respectively, this one is Oswald and this one is Laura. So this font pairs are already pre-identified for you. So you only need to do is to download the font on Google, make sure that they are licensed. You have to buy the license or if they are a public domain font, you can download it for free. 
Okay, so we have here Joy Noel. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Oh my god. So the first one is Abraham Lincoln font, and the second one is Avenir, the, the one that's written in Noel. So that's how you make sure that the fonts that you have been using are complementary to each other and would actually look good together. And make sure that you follow those color harmony and font pairing because without that your social media graphic or whatever graphic design you want to create will be screwed you know a lot of people would really notice if you were not using the right type of font the right type of color it would just it just wouldn't look right okay even if I will take off my graphic designer glasses, I would look into a graphic, I would just really know that that thing just doesn't look right because there is really a huge whole book for that. I could talk about it for, for days and days and days and days. But for now, that's all the basics that you can learn with Canva and the basics of graphic design. So you could explore more on Canva. Let's go back to that one you can create a lot of things so you have here social media presentation posters facebook covers flyers blog banners cards email headers okay so on and so forth now do not be very confident that you can design everything now okay as i've said if you are going to mass produce something and you have to distribute that graphic in a whole bunch of people uh, because you would be confident enough and you would be guaranteed and assured that your social media graphic or the graphic design that you want to create or you have is actually compliant of the copyright laws and the font you know there's just so much to it that you need to know for you to make sure that you are not actually touching or breaking the laws of the copyright especially in the u.s there's a huge fine for that it can go from 75 grand to 200 grand per person and it's a huge money and you don't want to f with that right so i yeah so i think that's it for today i hope you learned something in this video if you like this content make sure to click the subscribe button and tinker that bell button so you wouldn't miss a video of demi bernice and of course if you have questions clarifications and suggestions you can comment them down the comment section that's what the comment section is for and continue following your dreams finding your authentic voice and awakening your inner alpha I'll see you in the next one.